After Biden's embarrassing run-in with a spy balloon last week, we couldn't not ask questions about China. Because as you know, the Biden administration's relationship with China is complex. Is China an ally or an enemy of the United States? Only 11% of US likely voters say ally, but 48% however say China is our enemy, and only 36% say somewhere in between. These are pretty fascinating results considering China is far and away our biggest trade partner. Now what if I told you these numbers didn't always look like this? In fact, these numbers were drastically different only a mere five years ago. Here are the results from August of 2017, halfway through the first year of the Trump administration. Back then, 8% said China was an ally, three points less than now, but only 15% said it was an enemy, and a whopping 73% said it was somewhere in between. Now, I'm going to put up the party numbers between then and now, so you can see the stunning shift. This is why polling exists. Let's start with Republicans. 8% still say China is an ally, but nearly 50% more Republicans say China is an enemy. Independents had a very similar, though slightly more muted response. Just 1% more of them said China is an ally, but China picked up 32 points of enemy among independents. But now let's look at Democrats. More than twice as many of them say China is an enemy than they did five years ago, which is still a pretty stunning shift. But unlike everybody else, almost twice as many Democrats say China is an ally now too. And looking back at 2017, Democrats, Republicans, and independents all pretty much agreed about China. So where are these new China supporting likely voters coming from? Young men most likely, 6% more men say China is an ally than women. But look at age. Voters over 40 are night and day different than those under 40. Roughly four times as many of them say China is an ally, but it's still only 21%. Now, it's easy to dismiss those people potentially as just TikTok users, but in reality, I'm seeing signals in other questions where younger voters, much more than older voters, trust officials and authority figures and are much more likely to buy what they're being sold. But who, more than anyone else, thinks China is an ally? Well, if you've watched my other videos, you know what's coming next. Yep, it's those who strongly approve of Joe Biden. 22% say China is an ally, and only 25% say it's an enemy. Among those who strongly disapprove of Biden, only 4% think China is an ally, but 74% say enemy. Now, I'm going to gloss over ratings of the way Biden is handling issues related to China. They're neither his highest nor his lowest issue. And to be honest, those who support or oppose Biden don't really seem interested at this point in objectively considering his agenda. People's minds are pretty made up. But here are party numbers, just in case you're interested. Only 21% of Democrats rate Biden poor on the issue of China, which I honestly thought was somewhat high. And 27% of Republicans give him something better than poor, which I also thought was pretty high. Independence rating of Biden polls really close to Republicans here, though, so Democrats are, understandably, propping them up here. But now let's talk about war. How likely is it that the U.S. will go to war against China within the next five years? 48% of U.S. likely voters say it's at least somewhat likely, but only 18% of them say very likely. 39% say it isn't likely, but again, only 11% say not at all likely. Now, Republicans are more likely to see war in the future, 58% of them but the parties aren't that far apart. 45% of Democrats agree. And it's actually independents who are least likely to say war is likely, though that's because way more of them say they're not sure. What surprised me here is that younger voters were more likely to say they see us going to war, even though only 30% of 18 to 39 year olds said that China was an enemy, far less than anyone else. If anyone has any theories on that, I'd love to hear them in the comments. Okay, so public opinion has turned quite a bit on China in the last five years. So much so now that half of American voters now think a war is likely in the next five years. Why did this happen? Well, Trump shone a pretty blinding light on how the US has fallen prey to bad trade agreements and was much harsher with China than Joe Biden is. So much so that in the start of Biden's term, only 31% of voters said his policies toward China would be better than Trump's. But 50% said worse, including 23% of Biden's own party. And this was even before his questionable business deals with China were widely known. Although now, a stunning 61% of U.S. likely voters think it's likely that Biden knew about and potentially profited from his son Hunter's business deals with companies in China. But I think coronavirus likely bears a lot of blame here. Keep in mind, 68% of voters think it's likely that coronavirus originated in a Chinese lab 
And even back in the infancy of the pandemic, 60% of voters wanted to see China pay at least some of the global pandemic costs. Who knows what the next few years will hold for the U.S. relations with China? It's safe to say, though, that any provocation might possibly involve Taiwan. So if you can think of any questions you want us to ask about Taiwan in an upcoming set, drop them in the YouTube comments. As always, please click follow if you're watching us on Twitter or subscribe to the channel if you're watching us on Rumble or YouTube. Thanks for watching.